Wishing you a very happy and a vibrant day. Myself, Sushmita Sahu, going to take NCRT le class 7 lesson 1 that is nutrition and plants. If you like my video, kindly subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Nutrition and plants. Now, first thing before we understand nutrition, we should understand what are nutrients. The components of food which are necessary for our body are called nutrients. Then what is nutrition? Mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by body is called nutrition. When we talk of nutrition, there are two types of nutrition, autotrophs and the heterotrophs. As the name suggests, autotroph, that is self-nourishment and heterotrophs depending on others for their nourishment. Now, autotrophs is self-nutrition. As we know, the plants are the uh, only creature, are the only living things which can make their own food by themselves. Plants take water and minerals from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air and they form carbohydrates. Now, carbon dioxide from the air is taken through tiny holes, tiny pores on the green leaves. These pores are guided by the guard cells. These guard cells regulate the opening of the pores. And the chlorophyll present captures the energy on the, of the sunlight and use it in synthesizing uh, to prepare the food. When the food is synthesized, it releases the oxygen. Now this is uh, photosynthesis, sun. In the presence of sun, the green leaves, they take carbon dioxide and water from the air, prepare, car prepare carbohydrates and gives away oxygen, very beneficial for us. If any of the pl uh, plants are green, then it's sure that in presence of uh, sunlight, they will surely synthesize their own food. When they synthesize the food, they prepare carbohydrates. Now, these carbohydrates are made up of carbon and hydrogen. Carbon and hydrogen are used further to make other components of food such as fats. Now, protein is also very important. Protein contains nitrogen. That is, they require nitrogen also. Now, where does this nitrogen come from? We, as we all know, there is abundance of nitrogen or in the air, but this nitrogen is not utilized by any of us. Soil has certain bacteria or the leguminous plants. They have certain bacteria which converts this nitrogen into usable nitrogen and then we get the protein and this is especially with the uh, legume plant or you can understand it as pulses and all they have nodules in their roots and these nodules uh, are the house of this bacteria rhizobium bacteria and they convert the nitrogen into usable nitrogen so this is autotrophic mode of nutrition now we come to heterotrophic mode of nutrition when we talk of heterotrophic that is depend being dependent on others so first the, the first form which we will read is parasite you might have seen cascuta that is the amar bale the yellow bale which you might be seeing uh, many times around your house also so this in this what happens they are totally dependent on the green plant for their food and they nourish themselves by the green plants and hence they are called the parasites you might have also seen the pitcher plant oh, not seen might have uh, heard about pitcher plant these are insectivorous plants the insectivorous plants are they develop such a mechanism that when animal any type of insect sits on them they close their lid and then digest that uh, animal. The second form of nutrition is saprophytes. In saprophytes, they, they secrete digestive juices on the dead or decaying matter and convert it into solution and absorbs. This is sep saprotrophic mode of nutrition. Such type of plants are called saprophytes or saprotrophs. The best example is fungi. Then we come to the third mode of nutrition, third mode of heterotrophic nutrition and that is symbiotic. Here two animals, they live together and they benefit each other. That is one provides the shelter, the other provides the food. The best example of this is ly lichen. 
that is the algae and the fungus they live together and algae being green provides the food for the fungus and fungus provide shelter for the plant so here we have seen let's see the mind map of this lesson where we see that nutrition are of two types autotrophs heterotrophs autotroph is self hetero is depending on other autotroph has the photosynthesis autotrophs can do the photosynthesis heterotrophs they are the parasites saprotrophs and the symbiotic relationships they have so this is the mind map of the lesson which we have read i'm sure you will be able to do the question and answers which we are just going to you are just going to view here the exercises i'm sure you will be able to do this exercises if you have any problem then you can just ping me up in my comment box and i'll be very happy to answer it take care till then bye